New Zealand, standard time, and uh, well, 13 degrees. That's what the weatherman says. Now we go going to extra overtime, and I think uh, Barbara's prediction, 17 degrees, is up next. Uh, but believe me, I still feel that we're going to do a lot better than that. I really, really do. I'm thinking 20 degrees today. It's been one of those kind of winters, really. It has. It's Tuesday, June 28th, and you know something? Absolutely elated for today's interview because uh, I get to meet a new friend as well. I really, really do. Uh, but first of all, let me do this. Another Indie Artist Interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV. The record is so music you watch it. It's been about a year since we caught up with Gregory Childs and the band Heartlung, my favourite band name ever, literally. And, uh, well, I've got a couple of Hall of Famers as well that want to actually work with Gregory Childs uh, in the near future. I'll let them know about this. But in the meantime, of course, let's go down memory lane just one more time. Here is Blood Ties. <laughs> Gives us a couple of minutes to catch up. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. <laughs> nice. For having us back on the show, Brad and Barbara. Like, it's really good to talk to you guys again. Absolute yeah. pleasure. It really, really is. And uh, Tyra, if you ever saw Darth Vader, you would recognize maybe one of these things floating around. You know, it's one of those sword <laughs> things. Uh, believe me, i got to move fast when she comes around with the bloody thing. Otherwise, I need a hard hat. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> really, Sweetie really. Is Jeremy right. Gallus is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Hi. Jeremy. Hey, maybe you guys Hi. might remember this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hang on, I've got to take a photo of that. Check there. that out. Look at yes. that. It's the only surviving copy here in uh, Galaxy. Literally every other and one that's track we got one. At the moment, blood ties. Went oh, everywhere wow. in the world. Literally, we had about a half a dozen. They went everywhere right. and so quickly too. Um, guys, I've got to let you know, we have some friends that uh, are into country western uh, kind of music. They're, you know, Hall of Famers to be honest. When they heard that, they wanted to know, can we hook you up and um, can we do some work together? Right on, right on. Who's that? Uh, there are paternal brothers called the Hammond Brothers. <laughs> Oh, no way. Yeah, I've listened to some of their stuff, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. They approached so... us. Literally, they said, hey, listen, Grant, we love this band. Can you hook us up? And I said, next time I talk to Greg, I will let him know. So if you want that, I'll get Barbara to set the wheels in motion. Right on. Yeah. Where are those guys based at? Are they in, in Canada or in the States? Uh, they're in the States. They come out of Nashville, basically, but... I think they're in Philadelphia right now, to, uh, doing a few shows there. Um, right on. At the same time, they're doing some TV shows. They actually <coughs> have their own show as well. <coughs> Please excuse me. Yeah, I'm on one of those too sometimes. <coughs> it's a weird kind of weather at the moment too. George Prophet is joining yeah, us. Nice to have you on board, George. George. And everyone. <coughs> I, I better get back to work. And Peter Hoffman. Hello, Peter. Nice to have you back again. Believe me, um, we have still a huge amount of fans that want to request your song all the time. That's so cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Right on. That's yeah. amazing. Uh, now... What did you guys think of the track? Did you think it's a little bit different than Blood Ties, right? Oh, it is, definitely. <laughs> I, I really did. It, it took me a moment to, to get my head around, this is Gregory Childs and Heartlung, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it really did. Um, but at the same time, brilliant, because we started playing it. We didn't say anything to anybody for the first few times, and it sort of just grabbed hold of us, the internet started going crazy, going who, what, when, where, how, and when are we doing the interviews? So we're doing it right now. We really are. Um, let me uh, welcome everybody on Facebook Live, and then we'll go live to the desk, okay? okay. <laughs>
right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Got to welcome everybody along that's joining us live on Facebook Live this morning. So, so very, very happy to have you. If you're going to watch it a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? No, you do. Seriously, you do. Seriously, honestly. Yes, sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Yep, bell for notifications, believe me. Important people like today's guest is joining us. And, of course... Uh, get epileptic with that some things, you know what I mean? Like a score on a double, double, treble dare you. And uh, if you're so inclined, please become part of the noise. That's the Galaxy family, believe me, everywhere in the world. And it's getting louder. Subscribe. Go on, double dare you. But in the meantime, guess what? Yes, we're going all the way over to Toronto, catching up with good friends of ours, Gregory Charles from the band Heartline. Love, love, love that name. And we have a whole new friend. I think we should introduce ourselves. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Galaxy. How are you going? Thanks so much. It's great to meet you, guys. Good to be back online with you guys. Now, uh, we had an addition. I've got a new friend. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, my name's Tyra. Um, we recently got engaged. We're getting married at the end of August. And I started playing with Heartlung kind of before the pandemic, but over the past couple of years, it's been picking up more. And now I'm playing with all the shows and everything. And um, we write songs together. And it's, yeah, it's been amazing. Now, um, Tyra, I, I'm just going to cut in here because uh, believe me, I'm not going to get the sort of details of how you met and all that sort of stuff. That really isn't it. But how long have you been performing? Well, I actually only started performing um, when I started with Heart Lung. Before that, I was only ever like a closet musician, kind of. Um, and I've always been a writer and stuff like that, but I only really started a couple years ago. Well, you know, uh, believe me, I've been an engineer now for almost 40 years and I don't listen to music as a fan would listen to it. I listen to it as an engineer, as a DJ, as a salesman, all that sort of stuff. A and I would never have picked that. I used to have such a seasoned voice that I thought you would have been singing since, well, the age of five, to be honest with you. Well, I have, I've been singing like my whole life, but not like in public, like performing, right? So... Yeah, that's new to me. Very, very cool. Now, uh, i got to wish you both congratulations. I, I kind of hope the uh, the invite to the wedding's in the mail. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's on its way. It's on its way. Awesome. Awesome. Then we'll go out Sasquatch hunting after that. What do you reckon? Uh -huh. Love that. Now, <clears throat> let's go back in time now. Uh, about a year ago, we... Uh, uh, released the brand spanking new song for uh, Heart Lung, and uh, it was Blood Ties. We just played it, and of course, the one and only, and believe me, love that. Right on. I'm so glad you guys got those vinyls in the mail. I'm really yeah. glad, because I was saying sometimes things came kind of weird through the mail, so I'm really glad they <laughs> all made it to you. Yeah, I'm still waiting for um, uh, other bits and pieces from artists from around the world because of, uh, you know, the... Uh, pandemic thing and in fact would you believe uh before we actually met you about a year and a half before we actually met you we actually tried to get some equipment uh, just as the uh covid thing came into play from around the world would you believe it actually only just arrived last week no way wow <laughs> so uh we've been sort of limping along trying to uh stuff things together again with a bit of chewing gum, you know, a bit of this and a bit of that and sellotape just to keep it running. Uh, but it's so nice to have brands making new equipment back in the play right now. Uh, refresh our memories, Greg. Tell me a little bit about Blood Ties. Now, I've got to ask you too, Tyra, were you in the video? I was not in the video, but I was behind the scenes in the video. <laughs> I was helping the videographer go backwards on the real, real, railroad tracks. So um, I helped with the makeup too. So, yeah, so <laughs> that was my role. Tyra um, actually helped the uh, videographer not fall down. He was backing up yeah. on the railway track. And she, her job was to keep him standing upright as he was walking down the railway ties. Um, but yeah, so that, that was a live, uh, live railway shot, um, really good friend of mine, TJ Stevenson, um, agreed to do it there, you know, it's hard to find a videographer that's willing to shoot that, 
and uh, we just kind of busted it out and did it, and it was it turned out a really, really cool project. Really glad we got got it done. Well, let's but, get yeah. let's get back in the day. Uh, let's remind everybody about Blood Ties. What was it about? So yeah, without getting too much into it, it was just it was kind of a song about um, you know reassessing some some family ties that maybe gone a little bit sour or a little bit strange, and uh, just um, trying to get a different perspective on that and, and, and looking back into you know how things were and how things are now. Um, and it just came out of a place, you know, like to be honest, I was just spending a lot of time kind of wandering around by myself, drinking too much, and. Um, it, out of that came a couple of different interesting songs, and um, you know, through that process, um, and after that, I ended up writing a lot of new music, and then and then working with Tyler on a bunch of, of stuff, and, and the stuff we're working on now is a lot more um, uh, kind of kind of countrified, but still kind of alternative alternative rock country. Yeah, you know, I'm absolutely blessed because uh, I love love love. Uh, the style that you've uh, produced in the past, and I'm looking so much forward to the uh, to the future. I really, really am, and I'm going to talk to you about that very, very shortly. But uh, at the same time, uh, since we last met, uh, I'll let you know a little something, something about Galaxy as well. Uh, we've hooked up with a uh, Canadian team called uh, Rise Up Television. They are also with Big Records and Sony Music, The Orchard. And, uh, of course, Mark and Pamela and Lisa and all the gang there, including Tim, who's going to be joining us later on. Uh, believe me, we'd love to be able to introduce you to these guys, because what they do, literally, is they uh, have a big bus, and they pick up artists, go touring for a little while. Uh, with a t They have a TV company, right? And, you know, whatever goes... Remember the days, whatever was on the road stayed on the road? Yeah, yeah. yeah. not anymore. Yeah. They got cameras. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, uh, I think they've just completed the Maritimes uh, tour, which I think Tim's going to tell us about very, very shortly. Uh, but we believe should. me, we would love to be able to introduce you to these guys because they. Oh, uh, awesome. We'd love, love to meet them. Yeah, that would be great. Um, yeah. Donnie Colt is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Donnie. And John Pater. Hello, my friend. It's been a while since we've spoken. Uh, believe me. Love, love, love Ashley's new stuff as well. Really do. Chris Andreas. Hello, Chris. Nice to have you on board as well, brother man. So, let's get to the big question of the day. Well, actually, Rachel coming out of Cincinnati is asking about touring right now. Have, have you uh, started to consider maybe going a little further afield from um, Canada? Maybe taking in the Americas? We would love to, like, like obviously the pandemic put a really big uh, setback in that, but Tyra and I actually planned to go down to Nashville and spend a couple weeks there just playing around there, but we would love to spend some yeah. time in, in the States and, and anywhere, like, we would just love to start moving around, for sure. And there's so much going on right now, but next yeah. year sometime, I'm sure we'll find... I'm trying to do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I tell you what, if you ever need friends in Nashville, I have a plethora of people for you to be able to meet, and you will absolutely love each and every one of them. I, I guarantee you that. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're at New Zealand, right? Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right down the, um, underneath of, New Ze of the world, literally. Very nice. Um, do you know much about New Zealand? I don't know too much about it. I mean, my parents have been through there. Um, no, yeah, not, not, not a crazy amount, no. Okay, well, let, if, let, me, let, me, let me give you a very, very quick uh, update on, you know, us Kiwis here in New Zealand. Um, named Kiwis after the flightless bird, by the way, not because of the fruit. <laughs> uh, that, that's the first one. We're three islands, literally, and, uh, well, the small island right down the bottom of the south it's called Stuart. It's the only island in our country that's actually given a manly name. Okay. Yeah, because whoever named New Zealand after that literally uh, ran out of imagination called the next one South. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, of course, following that, you've got to have North, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's where we are. Uh, are you familiar with Lord of the Rings? Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, the very opening set of Lord of the Rings is about 
an hour and a half drive from this office right now. We would love to be able to take you there and show you uh, where all of that was done. Uh, and, well, you never know, I might even be able to get on the phone to my old mate, Peter Jackson, and see if he'll shout us a beer, because he didn't do it when I went to university with the guy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, he's phenomenal. I love that series. I'm a huge Giants walking nerd, for sure. So, like, that's, so you went to uh, uni with, with uh, Jackson, eh? Yeah, I did. Believe me, he wouldn't buy a beer then, and I, that's, I think that's how he got on the rich list today, you know what I mean? Skin flint. Same uh, even all that beer money. Yeah, exactly. But I tell you what, some of his earlier movies, yeah, a little questionable, i got to be honest with you. Uh, I can recommend um, uh, Meet the Feebles. Ha ha get, go online and have a look at Peter Jackson, Meet the Feebles. If you're into the Muppets, have a look at that because it's a little bawdy. Okay. Yeah, right. very, yeah, very yeah. interesting. Very interesting. And believe me, yeah. Uh, I did a little bit of sound on that one as well, which I'm not that, you know, proud of, to be honest with you, but... I know, hey, cool. Right yeah, uh, don't get a credit, though. Believe me, he's too tight for that. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> but, you know, if we would love to have you guys come to New Zealand and play in front of New Zealand audiences. I think, Greg, we've mentioned this in the past. Now Tyre is on the, uh, on the list as well. This is going to be exciting. Um, Tyre... Got to let you know, if Greg and the boys are going to come over here and play as much as we would love to have you, uh, just remind them, if they're hooking up with me, bail money. Okay. <laughs> we a couple extra loonies along. Yeah, Alrighty. absolutely, absolutely. Uh, All right. Now, believe me, guys, we have played the song a number of times now. We uh, started playing, of course, we had to test it and make sure that it played on our system. And then we started getting requests for it. People started listening. They wanted to know who, what, when, where, how, and who's the young lady involved in this. This is fantastic. It really is. Uh, believe me, Greg, I want to know the whole skinny about Lonesome. I'll let Tyra go her and put on it first, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, okay, well, Lonesome is the first song that Greg and I wrote together. Um, with, of course, the influence of Oliver, one of Greg's best friends, Oliver Kirby. Um, we were all just hanging out one night, like we had only known each other for a couple of months, and Oliver came up with the hook of the song um, in the chorus, and we kind of went from there, and we wrote the song together, and yeah, it's a really special song to us, because it's the first one that started off a series of songs that are coming out in the next year. So yeah, this is the first one, and it's very exciting. Yeah, we kind of, um, you know, the stuff I was writing before was was a lot more almost like alternative folk, kind of like kind of um, uh, just like darker kind of folk country energy. This stuff, the stuff we've been working on now is is definitely uh, a nod in the country direction. Um, definitely more um, male female parts. Um, and, and this lonesome is basically, you know, coming out of, uh, Tyler and I were both coming out of some kind of weird relationships, and then we both kind of threw that energy into the song. Um, a really close friend of mine, actually the best man at my wedding, Oliver Kirby, as Tyler mentioned, uh, is, is also a co-writer on the song. Um, kind of the first night I was kind of showing off Tyler to my friend, you know, or just trying to introduce Tyler to my friend. Um, we all just started playing music together, and we kind of came up with Lonesome. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot of new songs coming down the pipeline. We actually set one off to master today, um, and another one that the Tyra is the lead singer on. So we're, we're we're pumped about that, and it's a whole new kind of direction I think with the stuff we're doing right now. So let me guess, uh, maybe just maybe you might be uh, enduring yourself to uh, another interview with me. We'd love to, yeah. We'd that would be got, great. We've got a couple we'd love for you guys to, to throw down your pipeline and see if they match with what you guys want to do for sure. Like, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Now, i got to let you know, uh, well, I think they're sadistic and, you know, self-harming yeah, if they want to talk to me all the time. Uh, but believe me, we are absolutely elated because 737 requests to date and climbing is Gregory Childs and Hartlung featuring Tara and Lonesome. That's not bad. 
1737 right requests so far and climbing. That's sweet. Wow. Great to hear. Great to hear. That's awesome. <laughs> Super busy. It's been great to, to follow along with all the different artists you guys have been promoting. Hi, Hi Joe. Believe me, uh, through the pandemic, <coughs> people didn't have a lot to do. They were, you know, not gigging or anything, and they were taking breaks from writing and recording. So they would subject themselves to me, you know, and believe me, Tara, if, if, if you need a psychiatrist, I've got one in your area. Oh, <laughs> great. Okay. He's a psychologist. Yeah, believe me, I do. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Ashley Williams is joining us. Hello, Ashley. Uh, Creatures of Condition, believe me, I am looking forward to new work from you, Donnie. I really, really am. Um, loving the new track as it is, but always, always hungry for more, you know, because you're that good. Um, <clears throat> believe me, we are in every country in the world right now, and uh, I'll, I'll give you the stats when we finish this because they just keep on growing, okay? That's awesome, wow. yeah. That's amazing. Da, 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 da. Okay. What else you got, Grant? I'm sorry? What else have you been up to? What have you guys been doing in your uh, spare time? Uh, we don't have spare time. No, <laughs> the bosses don't let us have any of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me something. Uh, I ask everybody this. Uh, you guys aren't I vegans, eh? We are no, not. No. no you, you meet a holologist like me? Not, not that far. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> the, the, the reason why I ask is, have you ever tried a vegan sausage? Yes. Yes. Are they made of real vegans? <laughs> just their toes, that's it. Just the toes. Ah, okay. Well, that's like baby oil, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Much more to come, Donnie. Very, very cool. Loving that response. <laughs> we have quite a few online that are following us right now, my friends. And uh, believe me, they're absolutely love, love, Did loving you get it. Gay Miranda. Gay Miranda's on board yeah. as well. Oh, our Viking Queen. Um, that that's he's the manager of a band coming out of Norway called Viking Queen. And believe me. <laughs> I don't. Um, yeah, school. I think we really want to. We really want to, you know, get out there a bit. Like, I think we're really, for sure. You know, really pumped on like these, like you know, trying to go to like New York for the weekend, like go down to Nashville for a week, like do these things that seem so far away, like a year and a half ago, and now this yeah. like we're getting a bit closer again. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Absolutely gotcha. Well, believe me, we've got a. Um, uh, of course, Rise Up TV are doing a uh, a tour. They're going to India and then they're going to Papua New Guinea and then coming to New Zealand, going to Cambodia, places they, like that. They can join. So, they can um, join if they want. We we can actually get you in on that if you're if you're interested. For sure, we're always down to do anything. Yeah. Hi, Nice. Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and absolutely elated today. We're talking to Gregory Hart and uh, Gregory Childs and Hartlung. I knew I was going to bugger that one up. And of course, our new friend Tyra. And believe me, it's an absolute pleasure uh, to have these guys joining us coming out of Toronto and, well, releasing a brand spanking new song, of course, Lonesome. Fantastic. Absolutely. Got to say hi to Nancy Crosley. Nice to have you on board, Nancy. And, of course, Terry Van Cannon's in there as well. Uh, I heard you're going to be in the new Lazy Indie magazine coming up in, in the next couple of editions. Congratulations, my friend. Fantastic. And that I'm going to talk to Gregory about as well. 
Uh, but in the meantime, guys, we are going to have to wrap it up here. But please don't go anywhere just yet. Uh, well, you'll find out, Tyra. You really will what's going to happen next. Uh, but believe me, a lot of fun it is. And, and uh, have you ever been a cartoon before? Have I ever bitten a cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're going to be now. <laughs> you really are. Uh, but believe me, it's one of the few things that makes me look good. i got the perfect face for radio. Uh, but okay. now cartoons have come along. Gosh, I look good. I really do. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, don't go anywhere, but we must switch back over to the other studio. Got to say thank you very much for everybody that's joining us here on Facebook Live. Uh, don't forget, very, very shortly, we're heading over to Vancouver to catch up with Tim Steinreich. From the Mighty One. Yeah, he's going to be joining us, releasing a brand new song as well. Uh, but having said that, if you're going to watch a little later on over there on YouTube, don't forget, sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. Have a great day. Catch you then. And big respects for Rise Up TV, Big Records, and of course, Sony Music, The Orchard, here at Galaxy. <laughs> Another indie artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music The Orchard.